Hello and welcome to Superb Tech. In this part, we are going to complete the mechanical build of our printer. So let's get started. We start with the x-axis extruder plate. Assemble the V-wheels the same way we did for the y-axis plate. Keep the bolts loose as we have to insert it into the aluminum profile. Insert the x-axis plate on the aluminum profile and tighten the bolts and turn the eccentric spacers to tighten the V-wheels. Slide the profile to the top and tie it with a cable tie so that it does not come down. Attach the Z-axis motor plate to the back of the vertical 20x40 profile using M5 screws and sliding nuts. This is the x-axis motor plate. The brass nut is attached to this plate through which the lead screw passes. Attach the brass nut using M3 screws. and attach the plate to the x-axis profile. Attach a 5 by 8 mm flexible shaft coupling to the z-axis motor shaft. and attach the motor to the plate using M3 screws. Apply a small amount of grease to the brass nut and slide in the lead screw. The lead screw which we are using is an Acme trapezoidal lead screw with 8mm diameter, 2mm pitch, and two starts with 4mm lead. Insert the lead screw in the shaft coupler and tighten the grub screws. Attach the top plate with the flange bearing to keep the shaft in place.
attach the GT2 pulley to the X axis step up motor. and attach the motor to the plate using M3 screws. This is the X-axis end stop plate. Attach it to the X-axis profile. Attach the idler pulley to the idler pulley plate and mount it to the profile. Remove the x-axis extruder plate. Pass the belt through the profile. and fasten the belt on the extruder plate using nylon cable ties. Place the extruder plate back again and tighten the eccentric spacers. Pull the idler pulley plate to increase the belt tension and then tighten the screws on the plate. And we are done with the mechanical assembly for the X, Y and Z axis. In the next part, we will see the assembly of the electronic parts. Thanks for watching.